Hello there, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Giselle and I love posting fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos as per usual. But today, you guys, we are out on the town. We are roaming about New York City. I actually just came back from my laser hair removal appointment. So if you're seeing my face, there's no makeup on it. And if it's a little red, I think you can see it's a little red. It's just a little irritated from the laser. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know down in the comments. I plan on doing a full video about it, but it's been a part of my life now. So whenever we come to the city, we tend to do a little venturing and buying some things. And of course, GPS. But I decided to vlog this so that I can show you guys a little bit of the city and a little bit of what we like to do. Now, if you noticed, I said we because my boyfriend is with me, as you guys know, fun fact, I do not have a driver's license. So <laughs> whenever we go somewhere, he usually drives, but I chose to be on YouTube, he didn't. So we are going to respect his privacy and he won't be on camera for a while. You may hear him every now and then because editing is gonna be a little hard, but <laughs> just know he won't be on camera, but he is here with me. So to get the vlog started with some food, we are trying this for the first time. They are called baked cheese tarts. <laughs> and we picked up three. So let me show you guys what they look like. Can I like this? There we go. So one is mango. The one in the middle is their original formula. The guy said it's really good and he recommended it. And the last one is a purple yam. So looking forward to tearing into these, but we are gonna stop by Blue Bottle Coffee first. We fell in love with that place the last time that we came here. And they have an amazing almond croissant that I've been just craving and their coffee is delicious. So we're gonna stop by there first so we can pick up some coffee, possibly try these tarts unless we decide to try them right now. And we're gonna take you guys along for the day and we'll see where we end up. Union Square. Oh, blue bottle coffee. Blue bottle coffee. Let's go. This cheese smells actually bother me. Not a lot of cheese. <laughs> Isn't that a sound? It's closed. Lululemon. Oh, there's Alberts right there. Hi, Alberts. All you people are gonna be in my vlog. In a quarter mile, <laughs> turn left. The architecture to that building is actually really cool. Mm, it's across the street here. The news. The mob of people crossing the street. What New York City is known for. Usual. Oh my god, the flower shop is so cute! The arrow guy, you still run here, right? Bye, Washington Square Park! 
Yeah, he was still around here. He was still right over there. Feet. Turn right onto Broadway. You can. What? The coffee bean? I thought that was from McDonald's. The bean. Coffee, the bean juice. No, the bean. It's the bean. No, you can get coffee or juice, but no, it's the bean. It's coffee, the bean juice. <laughs> I'm going to ask your chat. Okay, you guys. Is this coffee, the bean juice, or is it the bean, and you can get coffee or juice? Let us know down below in the comments, because clearly we are disagreeing right now. <laughs> it's definitely coffee, the bean juice. It is not coffee, the bean juice. <laughs> you guys hear this? This is what I deal with. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on here? There's a line. To what? Hey guys! <laughs> so you've already seen our pastries. Um, we had to make a stop really quick here at the donut pub. Um, I'll show you guys the donuts that we get. But the donut pub is really cool because the donut, it's not your typical donut, it's actually a croissant donut and they have all these crazy cool toppings. So Whenever we come into the city, we try to at least pick up a few because they're just really, really good. But unfortunately, there's never parking here. Like parking in Manhattan is always a problem. And the further downtown you are, the worse it gets. <laughs> so because of the parking situation, we are double parked right now by a bus stop. And I'm basically the lookout <laughs> while we wait for the, uh, the parking meter guy. But I wanted to give you guys... A quick update as to <laughs> what we're doing um, and then I believe after this we're gonna go grab a bite I think we're probably gonna head to Chick-fil-a because we're gonna go out for dinner later with my boyfriend's family so we don't want to spend too much money on food right now so I think we're gonna grab something from Chick-fil-a we love Chick-fil-a <laughs> and then we're also gonna stop by Nespresso because I need to pick up some pods so I'm going to take you guys along with me inside Nespresso so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. And then we'll head back probably home or we'll see. We'll see where this vlog ends up. But today we're just, we're winging it. We're winging it and I'm loving it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here are the goods from the Donut Pub. Let me show you guys what these look like. And in case you're curious, they are located right here on 14th and 7th. Let's see. Let's do a cute little unboxing for you guys. So this is what they look like. Don't they look freaking amazing? So my boyfriend says that these two are pumpkin. But they look like strawberry to me. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think that is. They said that was pumpkin. They said that was pumpkin? Or you think it's pumpkin? No, they said that was pumpkin. <laughs> Why would pumpkin have red little thingies on it, though? I, don't, I trust their creative vision. Okay. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. We will update you, by the way, with what it actually is, okay? <laughs> this one right here is maple bacon. This one is... Chai spice. Chai spice. This one is latte, coffee latte. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. And this one in the back is mango. So all of these are croissants that are shaped like donuts and they have the topping and most of the time they have a filling, like these have a filling. And this one just has the bacon on top and it's glazed with maple. So it's like amazing. But I just wanted to show you guys what they look like in case you're curious. And off we go to our next stop. coffee bar you can actually get a drink here like a latte and they make it for you but you do have to pay for it if you want a free drink you have to go up to the tasting bar that's upstairs up there this is the location on Prince Street by the way and they have the little pods here you can always try them if you're curious to do that oh, look at how pretty the coffee wall is you guys it's so cute
apartment um i'm so sorry that we had to cut our little outing short it's just if you noticed in the nespresso clip you will hear my boyfriend saying hello in the background and that's because we got the call from his family asking where we were um which was just funny because we were joking we were saying that the one time that they're early is the one time that we were counting on them to be late so <laughs> it didn't work out that time around but the next vlog will definitely be a little longer i'm already thinking of an itinerary of where to go so that we're not just like going with the flow we kind of have like a schedule going just to give us a little more ease with uh what we plan to do but i did want to show you guys what i picked up at nespresso i wanted to show you guys some of my favorite pods I haven't been buying a lot of coffee from Nespresso lately because they also had a price increase but I usually like to wait for the gift with purchase offers to buy in bulk and lately they just haven't had any good ones so I've just been kind of waiting but I am out of pods so <laughs> that's why we decided to stop by Nespresso just to pick up a few here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys as well but First, I want to go ahead and update you guys on everything. So starting off with the baked cheese tarts that you see me showing you guys in, at the beginning of the video, they were surprisingly really good. So we did end up trying one of them. We tried the original one, the one that was just supposed to be cheese. So that's why in the video you see my boyfriend saying that he smells cheesy and that he feels uncomfortable about it. I could not stop laughing whenever he said that. I just thought it was so funny. So I had to include that in the vlog just so you guys see a little bit of his personality. But it was really good. The only thing with that is that the <laughs> person at the shop didn't tell me that. I don't know if it's maybe they were fresh and that's why but they weren't set. So the top of them kind of looks like they got uh, toasty and, and set so you think that they're solid but they're not. So when my boyfriend took a bite of them because he always has to try things first. He is quality control for me so he'll try things and then he'll tell me if I'm gonna like them or not. That's how we function. So when he took a bite of it it just kind of exploded like it was literally just watery. Um, <laughs> So when he gave me my half of it, it was just oozing everywhere. Like I had to like kind of maneuver so that it wouldn't slide out of the little tart cup. So that's why I wasn't able to film that. Um, I'm also looking for some kind of contraption that I can put in the car to hold the camera so that I don't have to do everything manually. So bear with me. We're going to upgrade our YouTube setup for you guys. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say they were really good. We also had the other two the, which were the purple yam and the mango but those they cooled off in the box so they kind of set a little bit they kind of the best way that I can describe it is that they were like kind of like a pudding but like a little a little more watery than a pudding consistency but they kind of set a little bit so when you bit into them they didn't like explode everywhere there was still that ooze don't get me wrong the ooze was still there but it wasn't uh like crazy it was kind of like a thick somewhat of a custard kind of thing yeah it was like a custard and like a pudding kind of hybrid thing going on but I have to say the mango one was the best out of all three the original was good but like my boyfriend said in the video it was very cheesy and it the smell of it kind of lingered on our faces like we we didn't like that like when he says like man like this cheese smell is bothering me he wasn't joking and that that happened like a few minutes in between because I was just filming traffic and then we got stuck in traffic so I cut that part out because I figured you guys wouldn't want to see us stuck in traffic so <laughs> that's why I wrote a few minutes later up top um but it was just so funny <laughs> but definitely not buying the original one going forward I think the mango one and maybe we'll venture out into different other flavors but so that's the update for that 
Um, the second update that I have to give you guys is for the donut pub section when we were discussing what the donuts actually were. <sighs> so they weren't pumpkin and they weren't strawberry. They didn't taste like either. So we don't know if just the flavor was executed terribly wrong or if just the person in the shop maybe mixed up the donuts and put the wrong ones in the box. But I guess we both lost that one because it wasn't pumpkin and it wasn't a strawberry but it was really good so <laughs> that's just something else to keep in mind um i'm trying to think what else that i have to update you guys on i think that's it i think those are like the only two things that we kind of had debating in the video if you guys want to know anything else go ahead and ask me in the comments I'm more than happy to reply but let me go ahead and just show you guys what I picked up over at Nespresso. So my all time, well for both of us, for my boyfriend and I, our all time favorite coffee is the Cafecito de Puerto Rico. This is what the box looks like. Um, let me go ahead and open it up so I can show you guys the pod. This coffee is expensive, you guys. It tends to come and go because once they run out, you have to wait for the next uh, harvest. But this is what the coffee pod looks like. It says Puerto Rico on it. And it's so, so good. This is a double espresso pod. Um, does it say it here that it's a double espresso? Yeah. So it says it on the back. What I like about Nespresso is that they always have the lids labeled so you know exactly what you're drinking. <laughs> so this one is a double espresso pod. This to me is probably the best tasting in comparison to how strong it is because usually with coffee the stronger it is the more bitter it tastes it's a little hard to find that balance of good flavor with also having that roasty coffee flavor this pod gives it to you just keep in mind that it is expensive now um, with the price crease they are now twenty dollars for the box and you get ten of them so i mean if you still think about it it's still two dollars a cup of coffee versus like the five not even five anymore basically six to seven fifty at starbucks so you're still saving money and it's a really good quality coffee but she is pricey we so we bought two of those because i need coffee every day to function <laughs> and we also picked up um this one for the original line. So this one is Vertuo, by the way. We have both machines. Um, so that's for the Vertuo because we like the big pod for double espresso. Um, but for single espressos, we buy these little ones. So this red one is the strongest pod that they offer. It's called Napoli, right there. I think this is one of the Italian var variations. Yeah, Inspiración Italiana, Napoli. So the strength of this one is a 13, but don't let that scare you because it's also a very delicious coffee. I like having this one in the morning when I'm still like half asleep and I need to open up my eyeballs. <laughs> I have this because as soon as you drink it, you're like, whoa, like, <laughs> and this is what this one looks like. It's just a cute little red pod. Um, so I like this one for hot coffees, especially in the morning or in the afternoon if you need a little pick me up. And then now that it's starting to warm up, I love having a little iced coffee in the afternoon sometimes. So for that one, my favorite to use is also from the Inspiration Italian line. But it is the, uh, I think it's called Arpeggio. Yeah, it's called Arpeggio. And this one, I don't remember the strength of this one. Oh, it's a nine. It's a nine, this one. So this one is a little purple pod so this is what this one looks like cute and purple um and this one is really good for iced coffee so if you guys want me to make like a little video about uh nespresso and like what recipes i like to make for myself let me know because that's on my mind to do for you guys but i don't know if you guys have nespresso machines or if that's something that you would want to see uh so if you do let me know but that's pretty much all i picked up i picked up two red ones <laughs> <laughs> two red ones two purple ones and uh two of the puerto rico pods it's just we already opened one so it's in our pod bucket so <laughs> yeah but that's 
that's pretty much all we picked up at Nespresso. I'm waiting for a really good gift with purchase to stock up. So whenever that happens, I will do an unboxing for you guys. But I believe that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's definitely been a minute since I've done a vlog. I wish it could be a longer video. But you know, you know how it goes. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'll let me know that you guys want to see more vlogs. Um, that way I can start like rotating those in. I'm trying really hard to give you guys two videos a week. That's kind of the standard that I want to set for myself this year. That's that's on my vision board. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. So maybe if I could throw a vlog in, maybe every every now and then would be fun. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in watching. But stay tuned. I believe my next video is going to be my March favorites video because I have a few products that I really want to share with you guys. And then I believe after that, it's going to be my Sephora recommendations video because the sale is right around the corner and I want to get that video out for you guys so that you can start prepping your carts and kind of having an idea of what you're going to pick up for the sale drops. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. I'm also going to have a Dior unboxing coming up fairly soon, so you don't want to miss that one either. <laughs> Just so many things coming up. But alrighty, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.